Maybe we'll do something in Tasmania. How about a road going off into the distance in Tasmania? Dusk. <laughs> How about that? Let's see what happens. See what he does. It could be it could be pants. It could be something that doesn't look good, but <laughs> let's try it out. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that isn't bad. Then here at the bottom, you've got these options here. So you can go and click forward and then it goes and gives you the second option and here's your third option you can then go and upvote and downvote those if you say hey this this is well done or hey this wasn't done so well so i think maybe the, the second version here this the road it didn't really do that so well so we can go and thumb this down to let adobe know hey you need to work on this and you can go and tell them more if you like the, apart from the road this the, the rest of the picture looks kind of cool that also isn't greatly done but again this is something you can just do with a remove tool or or change up a little bit it's a good starting point. If you wanted other options, you can just go click generate again, and then it goes and thinks again, and then you get three other options, and then you can pick between those. So let's see what the next three iterate. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. So now we have like a double yellow line, but I do like the curve here. It's a little tiny bit wonky here in the distance, but you know, it's kind of, ooh, yes. I think I'm loving that. Let's go thumb that up, but that's well done. And then this, yeah, I don't know. Did this one, this one's spectacular. That is just very, very cool. So very cool. You can see the prompt up here still. So that's that's kind of nice under properties. Now you can go and take your lasso tool and put something funky in the sky or maybe or in the at the bottom here. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll put a bunch of hitchhikers down here. We could place two hitchhikers with luggage. See if it works. I mean, this could go wrong. <laughs> but no, it, you know, it's not not bad, actually. I have to say they do look a tiny bit creepy and featureless i have to say but you know the the hitchhikers that looks that looks terrible we gotta we gotta let adobe know about this i'm not sure about the hitchhikers <laughs> let me see if we can put with a polyline tool here polygonal lasso tool i'm gonna go and describe the road to photoshop like this here like, oh no actually we needed to have it much larger if we wanted to have a truck or something we gotta think 3d i'm thinking uh, 2d this is where the truck would be on, but literally the truck would be rather high. So I think maybe I'm gonna have to go and do this again. So just roughly from here to there. And then this, this could literally be the truck. Red truck with containers facing the camera, just so that we know, you know, that's maybe the thing that might pick up our two hitchhikers a one not bad i mean look at that it's not quite in the center of the road not bad what other trucks do we have yep not bad at all but yes now that is a it's like a convoy isn't it very cool <laughs> because it's memorial day weekend let's put maybe some airplanes into the sky here maybe a cargo plane facing right no, that's not bad um, perhaps less less stylized I'm, I'm not sure about the about the planes here but i can blend this in so it's it's quite nice if i wanted to cut this out let's just as an example here this mask here we need to go and get rid of first of all so let's go get rid of the mask and then go use the object selection tool it's so cool then we're going to create our new mask and now i can see that the plane is now fully isolated and you can mess with the mask if you want to do that uh, now we can go and put the plane some squares else what i love is that all these tools are inside photoshop that's just that's just insanely cool wombat on the side of a road a family of wombats how about that here a family of wombats <laughs> hey caramba where's the color in the wombat also the family of wombats <laughs> maybe i need to say three small wombat kids uh, those are not wombats. We're going to go thump this down. I mean, you know, let's let's help Adobe out here. That is, that's not a wombat. Let's forget the wombats. What, what else could be on the side of the road? Uh, a giant spider. That is always a good idea. A giant black spider. I don't know where it gets the style from. I mean, perhaps I should have said spider photorealistic. Because the truck is also a bit stylized, as is the plane. So I don't know if it takes that into consideration. Nope, that's the same spider we've already had nope 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 uh no okay forget the spider idea let's go and let's go and in fact remove that layer altogether i want to I start again here I mean, this is maybe where we can have a kang how do you even spell that 
Kangaroo. There we go. Sound. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. No, I, I, I don't think so. Maybe we're tricking it. Maybe we should stick to something like architectural elements. Maybe it doesn't. It's not hot on characters. Poor little guy. Okay, fine. We're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna be we're gonna be fine with him. And then last but not least, of course, let's put a color correction layer on this here. Brightness and contrast, maybe add contrast. Add. I mean, I'm not sure about adding these things. See what it looks like with a vignette on it, so that we can sell it to art galleries. Because you know that's that is that's obviously where it's gonna end up. Yeah, this is gonna be all over Sotheby's. I can tell you, Gaussian blur sounds good. Yeah, so now maybe we don't do we do that. And then we have that. That just yeah, looks a little, little nicer. Hey, sweet! Classic artwork number one done. <laughs> NFT it immediately.